y'all welcome or welcome back today we have a few new products that I really wanted to try out and I just kind of want to put some makeup on I feel like I haven't had a sit down moment to put makeup on in a minute so we're gonna do that first things first I wanted to show off this product from Essence right here bro this is the biggest sponge I've ever seen in my life. Let me see if I can show you guys just how big it is. This is dry and it's almost the entire size of my face. So we're gonna wet it and see how much it increases in size. So right now it's like maybe the length of my cheek. So let's see. Legitimately, it is humongous. I feel like it didn't increase in length, but it did get wider. But this is a big boy, <laughs> so I'm very excited to use it. I've been so busy these last couple of days because it was one of my best friend's wedding. And I was in the bridal party and oh, I stayed the night at her place and then we stayed up all day. I was so freaking tired. And I had a lot of fun, but your girl is exhausted. But anyway, I just put a little bit of this e.l.f gel yeah moisturizer on my face because my face was feeling a little dry and then i found this at essence clearly i was hanging out the essence counter but it is a magic filter glow booster which i think it's meant to be like the flawless filter and the halo glow and all those like base filter glowy products i tried to find a shade that matched and i felt like this one was the right one let's see this one is in 30 medium tan. They had a lot of shades actually, but not too many in the dark side, but a lot in the middle and um, the lighter shades. So it was kind of interesting. I wanted to give it a shot. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's actually really thick. So I didn't expect that. It's giving foundation. It just says it's a face fluid with sheer coverage for perfected softened complexion. Use alone or under makeup or on top of for a natural glow. So it says on top or underneath makeup. So let's see. Oh yeah, it did blend into nothing. It came out a lot thicker than the Halo Glow from e.l.f. And I don't know if it just got absorbed completely into <laughs> that sponge, but we're gonna try that again but with a brush. So I'm using this brush. This is that Morphe S101 angled foundation brush. So we're gonna try that again. I mean, it does leave like a really nice glow actually. I don't know if I like the smell. Actually, the smell smells really bad. I don't know what is causing that smell, but it kind of smells like old paint. Like when you let paint dry on an e on a um, palette, that's what it kind of smells like. And it says sheer coverage. There is no coverage. That's an absolute bold face lie. It's literally just a glow, but it did add a really nice glow to the face. Like, can you see that? It is super glowy, but I wouldn't say it provided any coverage at all. So I would put this as a good primer. It kind of reminds me, I used to use the L'Oreal, what was it called? Like Lumi Magique or something, but it was like a strobe cream-esque product. This is giving strobe cream. So I don't know if it like actually provides any form of coverage. So I wonder if you guys don't even need to color match. It might be just good on its own, but I really, I actually really like how it looks on the skin. Very cute. Legitimately, I needed to have gotten my eyebrows down yesterday, but it's okay. I plucked a couple hairs, so hopefully that'll look all right. But the product I am super excited to use today is actually these two palettes right here from Revolution. These are supposed to be, I think, like Patrick Ta, eyeshadow palette dupes because they come with the eyeshadows and the color palette is very similar and then it has um, cream eyeshadows on the side that are covered up just exactly like Patrick Ta. So I'm hoping that this is legit and that it actually works really well because if it does I have been so anti buying the Patrick Ta palette because it's so and I just don't think that $70 is worth it 
But look at this. Tell me that doesn't look like that nude Patrick top palette that he has. And then these two are the cream shades, which do they have like a little, okay, so it's like a little plastic flap. So you don't actually get like a, a an enclosure similar to the Patrick Ta, but this palette was like, what, $12? So you save a couple, couple bucks, 60-ish dollars. I think I'm okay with that. So this one is called the True Icon. So that's this palette. This one I just got because it was kind of funky and cool and had colors that I personally love because I love green eyeshadows and stuff. This one's called the Eternal Icon. Wait, what? Yeah, this is the True Icon. This is the Eternal Icon. And it is this gorgeous green and purple very gorgeous palette and I am very excited. I hope that this pigmentation is legit because if it is, your girl is very happy. All right, so to start off with, we're gonna go in with this shade right here. I will say that it is pigmented. Huzzah, the bare minimum. It is a little bit light but I think I just need a different brush. So I'm going in with a fluffier brush and I'm just building that shade all over my crease. I actually really like that color. That is a pretty brown, very neutral, teddy bear brown that works for someone with a medium skin tone. It's very easy to blend, so I love that. I'm gonna have you guys all up in my business so you can see but it is really nice. I actually like that. And it's like a soft powder, so it blends really well. Try and build this color up. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and just kind of use that on the outer edges. I feel like this one is more of a warm toned brown. So it's kind of changing the color of the eyeshadow because that first shade was so neutral and now this is so warm. So it is adding a little bit of a different effect than I was anticipating, but it's still really pretty. Next, I'm using that denser brush and then I'm going in with the darkest powder shade and I am putting that on just the very outermost point. I'm trying to think of what color would feel the best. So I'm gonna swatch all of the shimmers just so you guys can see. So this first shimmer is very, very light. It's like a champagne. This next one is a lot pinker. I don't know if you guys can see how pink that is in comparison. This is more gold, this is pink. The next one is the one that I was most excited for. This looks like a duochrome. Yeah, it's like a duochrome. I don't even know if you guys can see, but it's like gold to pink. Never seen one that goes that shift. That's really interesting. I like that. Then I have this burnt orange glitter. Which I like that, I just don't know if that's gonna fit this palette really. And then lastly is this purpley, kind of shimmery shade and this one is really pretty too. I think I'm probably gonna go in with the first champagne-y shade. Oh, my whole hand is covered in glitter. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice, okay. Legitimately, I love this. Wow. That is super pretty. And then taking that fluffy brush, I'm just gonna blend using whatever is left on my brush. And you know what, let's go in with the third shade, the one with the shift. And just use that right in the middle just to bring it all together. Wow pretty but now y'all I am going to take 
this dark brown and I'm gonna try and use it as a liner. I'm taking an angled brush and just using that. It's very creamy. Ooh, that's pigmented. I'm kind of shocked. That's pigmented as hell. I never use brown liner. I think that that's just gonna be something that I have to get used to, but I do like how that looks. The next product that I got that was new actually was this eyebrow pencil and I got them in two different colors just because I feel like sometimes I kind of fluctuate between wanting a super dark brow and a pretty neutral brown brow. So this is the Powder Louder brow pencil and I got them in the shade black and I also got one in the shade espresso I believe yes espresso um, but that took way too long to <laughs> open so I am not going to use that one but I'm gonna just use the spoolie to brush my very rowdy hairs and then it is just a, like a little regular pencil. So we're gonna see. Did you guys see it? It literally just snapped right off. You know what is crazy? It kind of looks like a brow gel on the eye. Powder louder, very interesting. I really like it. I mainly like it because it is so pigmented for a pencil. I tend to find that like those micro brow pencils are just like so difficult to work with because they're so thin that it's like you have to press extremely hard just to get pigment. But this one is really not. Nice. It's like going on very smoothly and I like that. I will say it is a very soft pencil so it is breaking very easily, but that's no big deal. I do like the color black. It's not really black like an eyeliner or anything. It's more just a very dark brown. I think espresso would have been probably too light for me, but I do like this color. All right, now I'm gonna just do the rest of my makeup like normal. So that dew on the uh, Essence product is still there. So that's really nice. So all I wanna do really is just add a little bit of coverage. So I'm going to take my Conceal and Perfect from Milani because safe to say, I believe that this is probably my favorite foundation from the drugstore. I just like how it looks on the skin. I feel like it looks very flawless and it's very easy to use. And I also love the sponge. I feel like it blended all that foundation in like two seconds flat. <laughs> and then I'm going in with a little bit of concealer. This is my e.l.f. concealer. I got it in the shade. Light Sand. This is that Hydrating Camo Concealer, which I saw people talking crap about this concealer. Watch yourselves because I think it is a really good concealer. I don't know why everyone keeps hating on it, but... I don't know, everybody likes what they like. Everything works differently on everybody's skin tone, so I try not to take it personal. <laughs> yeah, that liner probably will never set. It is so creamy. And you know what? I talked to an actual makeup artist and she said the exact same thing about the, con the Patrick Ta uh, liquid formulas. She said that they are just, she just has them in there and she doesn't use them, which for me, if you're telling me that I'm paying $70 for a product, I am not going to have two shadows just sitting there collecting dust. No sir, no ma'am. But I'm kind of happy that I'm experiencing this on a $12 palette than a $70 palette because imagine like you spend that money and you've already dug into it so much and then it's like, this is useless. Like, what would you do? I know some people return it, but like, I would, I want this palette. I don't want to have to return it. I hope Revolution gets out of their little rut because I really do like their product. Like right now I'm using the, the banana powder. It's literally the best powder that I've used from the drugstore. And I have the like Morphe one that's really good, but this one is just like so 
so smoothing. Like I feel like my, look at my under eyes. Like I feel like they're super bright and smooth. Really good products, really good quality stuff. They just had a little mishap with their management, you know, fudging the books or whatever, but hopefully they figure that out. The other thing I got that I kind of wanted to try was this little small flat angled contour brush. And look at this thing, it's from Morphe and it's so thin and it's just like this little angled brush. And I know I just bought um, a contour brush for my nose, but I kind of want to try this one because it's so thin. Soul, no, this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Caramel Bronzer. I'm gonna try and contour. I will say it is a lot easier to use and just use it to blend things out. But I kind of like that brush. I think it does what it needs to. I definitely still think that I have a learning curve with just contouring in general. I'm just gonna throw on a lip. I think I'm gonna do this like maroon shade. It's called Slow Dance. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. And then I am going to set it all with some e.l.f. spray. And before I friggin' forget, because I always do, lashes. Putting on some e.l.f. Mm, Lash It Loud mascara. All right guys, that concludes today's review slash tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I would have to say that these are definitely a must have. You guys gotta pick it up. It is so worth the money instead of spending $70 on a Patrick Top palette. Just give it a shot. I'm sure the Patrick Top palette is amazing. Everyone and their mother raves about it for a reason. But if you're just reluctant to spend that much money on just one item uh, for makeup, I would recommend trying these. These are really nice. This guy I do enjoy. I feel like it left my skin very glowy underneath and I still feel like the glow is seeping through. So it is long lasting in that regard. It gives strobe cream, it gives a lot of glow and luminosity. I don't think it gives much of a tint. However, it is a very thick product, but for the price, this is a really good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, for the even the e.l.f. It is really nice. I also do really like this very obscenely large sponge. So definitely check this one out. And lastly, the eyebrow pencil. I give that like an eight out of 10. I think I just have a little bit of a learning curve with it. So I'll just try it out and see a couple more times. And I'm also gonna try out this shade, the Espresso. I love the color of the black, but the Espresso might be a little bit more natural looking. So we'll see, I'll try it in my next video. And this brush was great. Definitely recommend if you guys are struggling to get that really precise nose contour. As a person who can't do nose contour, I feel like I kind of did it. I feel like it's looking a little contoured, you know? Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Until my next upload, please feel free to check this one out. YouTube thinks you'll like it. And until then, I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.